What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock. We have some more breaking news for you today. And we know that pre-market, you know, the news broke out with the 750 million uh, convertible note offering. And, you know, the market, of course, retail was getting shaken out all day. Uh, there's so many dynamics to this convertible note offering. There's another YouTube video that I just posted earlier today to give you more details. But we're going to look at, you know, some more news that's breaking out right now, guys. So we got analysts coming out and giving SoFi updated price targets today. Why are they doing that today? Why would they do an updated price target on a convertible note, guys? That is the type of manipulation that SoFi continues to see. If you've been watching my uh, Twitter, you will see that four analysts alone, just four analysts, have gave SoFi 20 sell ratings over the past 12 months, okay? That just shows you how biased these analysts are towards the SoFi stock. The stock continuously triple beats the last two years, eight quarters, and they continuously give, you know, sell ratings and, you know, holds, okay? That is the type of manipulation that SoFi is dealing with. But we also have a little bit of good news. Some institutions are coming out. We know that Kathy Wood's ARC is a different type of institution that likes to track, you know, day-to-day. -day. So you are able to see her day-to-day -day buys and sells. And they are coming out, you know, continuously buying up these dips, you know, on this sell-off, okay? This is a massive sell-off today, guys. We're talking 16%, uh, okay? I was tracking earlier on my uh, Twitter today. The convertible notes were $750 million. We were getting like $1.2 billion in a, you know, sell-off of the overall market cap, okay? Just massively overblown, okay? And this convertible note is talking 2029 uh, a deal. So we're going to be breaking some more news for you today. If you find any of this information useful, be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've been covering the SoFi stock for a long time. I know it's been a nasty, nasty grind, but I'm telling you right now, the profits are going to continue to roll in massively in 2024. We just got our first profitable quarter last quarter, and people are selling out right now when the party is just beginning, guys. I think this company is going to print billions of dollars and, you know, 2027, 2028, and 2029, okay? Billions and billions, okay? This is going to be the money maker. I'm telling you right now, this company is stealing market share from the legacy banks, and it will not stop. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, take a look at this. You know, we used to do the Yahoo Finance updates, and Yahoo Finance changed their entire uh, layout. I mean, I really don't like this. Uh, this is probably going to be the last time we're using it. I don't know what this is. It used to give you all the updates at the top. Now they're on the side right here. You can see... SP 500 down one, Dow down one, NASDAQ 2% today, got absolutely hammered, Russell down 1.2. But guys, take a look at the volume. This is what I want to show you on the SoFi stock. Today was crazy, crazy volume. Average volume, 51 million. Coming in today at 180 million, okay? That is some crazy liquidity going on, okay? If you think there was only selling going on today, you are out of your mind. I'm telling you right now, institutions were coming up buying up these dips, taking over from the retail's hands, okay? Any retail investor selling out on the SoFi stock today had to be, you know, a trader or someone not looking a little bit longer term, okay, and are probably going to, you know, give up on the stock. I completely understand it, but this stock is going to print money in the future. I'm telling you that it's not going to slow down. The profits are about to start rolling in. Now, before we get into the video and look at the analysts and look at the buys, okay, I just want this to give you a little bit of a motivation. This uh, post I did on my Twitter is picking up a little bit of engagement, uh, hopefully Twitter runs with it because it looks like people are getting, you know, some clarity on what it takes to really be a super successful investor. You know, I'm talking, you know, the guys that are actually making the multi-million dollar profits, okay? Not these, you know, 10, 20% day trades, you know, options trades, you know, every other week. Guys, take a look at this. NVIDIA. If you bought NVIDIA back in 2002 for $5 and held it all the way to 2015, the stock was still at $5. You had 0% returns for 12 years if you bought in January 2002. And after that, 2015, a 15,000% return, 150x. Sometimes great stories take time. Look at the chart, guys. This is not a lie, okay? Everybody wants to buy, you know, NVIDIA at 100, 200, 300 billion, uh, 500 billion, but nobody wanted to buy it when it was $5 and held $5 for almost 13 years, guys. No returns at all. And then the stock just, boom, 150Xs, okay? So understand, great stories take some time. I understand SoFi has been on the public markets for three nasty years, okay? Crazy manipulation. But look at what's been going on during these three years, guys. We got 
interest rates, you know, rising up the entire time and they've been held up for another additional year. So just nasty inflation and, you know, interest rate, you know, environment that we are in right now. But SoFi in this environment is turning to profitability and sees profitability continuously growing the next three years, 700% EPS growth. So what does that tell you? Okay. It's going to be a potential, another story, just like an NVIDIA. Okay. It's just, you know, years and years behind, but who knows? We may be, you know, past this midway point right here. Okay. Potentially SoFi could be over here at these levels because we're going to potentially be making, you know, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, this year alone. So I don't think we're going to do a hundred million profit. I think we're going to do a couple hundred million dollar profit. Take a look at this post guys. For those who sold SoFi today, need to throw in the towel and retire from the stock market forever. SoFi is literally at the starting line of their first profitable quarter ever. That was literally two months ago. Imagine what these numbers will look like at the end of 2026. That's when the management bonuses kick in 12 more earnings. So if management wants to hit the bonuses of the $45 and get their you know $100 million payout for Anthony Noto, he's got 12 earnings to do it. Three months per quarter, okay? 12 more earnings. What are these numbers going to look like, guys? Just take a look at the numbers right now. 36% revenue growth, 47 million profitability net income, 219% growth on net income, EPS up 160%, net profit margin already at 8%, okay? What if in the next 12 quarters, you know, this is at like 30, 35, 40%, okay? Net profit margin and revenue continues to grow 30 to 40%, okay? These numbers are going to be looking insane, okay? SoFi has just had so many different, you know, factors that the company needed to do with, you know, making it a public spec, you know, uh, dilution, uh, debt, you know, just uh, a lot of things, these convertible notes, okay? It's not easy, you know, you got to get that pristine balance sheet so that the market, you know, really thinks you're in great shape even when you're growing. We're not getting priced for this growth right now because, you know, we're getting priced for other things that are happening, uh, capital constraints, selling loans accounting, you know, fair values, just a lot of things that aren't focusing on the true market share and scale that SoFi is getting. I'm telling you, it's going to change. It's going to change very soon. And SoFi continues to make these moves to make this happen. All right, guys. And you can see we got an updated price target. David Chivarini, Wedbush coming in at a, you know, one tenth of one star, 8,200 out of 8,700. You know, he's got to be the first to update his price target on a convertible uh, note, guys. Look at this. March 5th, updated, SoFi, that is today, sell rating, $3 price target. He is the lowest price target on SoFi, and he is the first to do a sell rating, a reiteration, guys. This is just the market that we're in, guys. You got these bears, and these guys will never let it go. I did a updated research into his uh, you know, sell ratings. He's updated his sell rating, initiated, reiterated 11 times over the course of two years. This guy will never stop. That's just the way it goes for the SoFi stock. Now let's look at a little bit of good news, okay? Art KK SoFi Kathy Woods comes in 1.67 million shares, guys. A really big buy. And if we just scroll down a little bit further on Art KF, he buys an additional 235,000 shares. So we're talking 1.9 million share uh, buy coming from Kathy Woods Art Invest, guys. I'm telling you right now, she's working her way up to like the top seven of total institutions, you know inside of the SoFi stock. She's about seven to eight million shares right now. And who knows if she keeps buying, she's going to make her way into like the top five, you know, past 10 million shares. Okay. So there's some big wheels that she's got to go through, but she sees, you know, a lot of upside in the SoFi stock and she continues to buy up these dips. If you made it to the, the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video gave you a motivation and understand that the market can be, you know, very, very manipulated in the short term. Understand SoFi just hit the public markets about three years ago, but they are doing what they need to do to become more profitable and, you know, start printing money. And that's what I see in the future. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.